thank you everyone. Some of you have stresses already and as you go through this process, it's hard work. People see the pictures and think it's all glam. It is a lot of hard work and this competition is not just about a beauty pageant. As you know, the foundation has a lot of initiatives and is about giving back to the community. So there's a lot of work to do, yeah? How many of you have heard of Fight or Flight? So they say when you're in the classroom, in the lecture hall in uni, they'll say it's from the caveman times. But for me, it's something that we are human beings. God made us and he gave us our natural alarm system. So how many of you have seen an alarm, a car alarm that when it rains or a leaf falls on it, it just keeps going on and on and on and on and on. Okay, so we all, we all have an alarm system and that is our anxiety and that's our fight or flight response. So if you're like crossing the road and all of a sudden you see a bike coming at you 100 miles per hour, the natural response is to either run out of there or sometimes, how many of you are frozen? That is a third response that people don't normally talk about. You know the hedgehog, when there's danger, if for me, I embrace anxiety because that is my natural alarm system that God gave me and it helps with anxiety. What it is, it helps you to perform. So for me, I do a lot of public speaking and most of my role in my job is talking to people. I get anxious all the time, so I do my own exercises. If I get somewhere, I like places with nice toilets because even if I'm late, I will go into the toilet and I will do a grounding exercise just to ground myself and prepare myself and get out and perform. When you're talking to someone, when you meet someone, everything you do in life, you're performing. Let's face it, you're performing. And sometimes we as human beings, we get more anxious the more people that's in front of us. So sometimes you need to find strategies you can do to help yourself, to help you perform. And that anxiety that's in your body, if you don't use it to perform, what it's gonna do to you is you start stumbling, you start shaking, because it's your body's way of getting the things that it needs to do to help you perform to the points it, it needs to get out. If you don't use it properly, that's when you flop, yeah? So it's really important you guys think about this throughout the competition. Unhelpful thinking habits, we all have them. So in terms of mental filter, do you all get it? Yeah? Okay. Let's go into the next one. Since you all understand it, I'm not going to go on because of time. So judgment. How many people are like that or no people like that? I've done a lot of work to come out of this because it's like me standing here. I could be like, this person, look at the way she's looking at me. I think, and maybe you're, it's just your resting face. So you're just looking at me, but I'm seeing it as you're looking at me like, what is she talking about? I let her hurry up. But even if someone is looking at you in that way, you don't know. You can't make judgments. Emotional reasoning. This is a really important one that if you do, if you, if this is you, to work on it, because it's like, even with this competition, if you start thinking like this, it's gonna affect your performance. So it's something you really need to look at and think about how you're gonna manage through it, yeah? Um, let's think, catastrophizing. This is so common. A lot of people do this, catastrophizing. Um, it's like even on the competition, not to put fear in you. Oh my God, if I wear my heels and I go out there, what if I fall down? catastrophizing already before you've done it. <laughs> do you see what I mean? So this is something, if you do think like that, one last one, black and white thinking. This one is also one that is, it can just damage your relationships, damage everything you're doing if you just think it's black and white. There, we're human beings, we live in a world, there are shades of grey. There are times where things are black and white, but there are shades of grey. You're going to use this to journal when we finish this session. I need to do it as soon as possible then because I'm going to explain some things to you and then I wanted you on every week to journal, especially in terms of your emotional um, feelings and how you're, you are emotionally and mentally throughout the competition from the, these weeks going on. So at the back to the notes page, can you go there? I need somebody to do some writing. Write it down, yeah? Oh. I believe I'm able to do things as well as most other people within my generation. So I want you to rate this from zero being, I can't do nothing like people in my generation, I'm useless, and 10 being, I am damn good at doing everything that anyone in my generation can do. Give yourself an honest rating, and this is private, you don't have to share it with anybody. The next one is, I take a positive attitude towards myself. Then the next one, I am a confident young lady. And then 
The next one, I feel confident speaking in public. And then the last one, I am beauty with brains. So zero being, I ain't no beauty with brains. And 10 being, I am 2019 Miss Ghana beauty with brains. Yeah, where you are, where you feel you are at this point. Yeah. So I want you to keep these. And I got these because I thought they were really good because it's got, some of you mentioned work-life balance, it's got work-home play, yeah? So I want you to start documenting, even if it's bullet points, about how you're balancing your work-life balance and fun. Obviously, I'm going to go through this with you, but if any of you do really need strategies, you're struggling, speak to your auntie, maybe some auntie to learn, and they'll let me know, and your mentors, yeah. Yeah, and if you need, help in terms of, don't worry about it, in terms of some of the strategies that might be helpful because maybe me talking about it in the group, you might not think about how you would apply it to yourself. If you need one-on-one -on -one in terms of anything to do in here, let us know.